dang, if a girl can't be fit and cute with blue hair, like, what can we go? Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and if you are a witty, then welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, wait so. Um, Today I'm gonna be playing with hair paint wax. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm scared and it's a temporary like hair color. Like what kind of sense would that make? Anyways, I wanted to make a disclaimer. My shirt that I have on is all, okay? So if you see anything on it that says anything other than natural hair, my hair is 100% natural, period. Let's get into the video. So I already, I just styled my hair, okay? I deep conditioned and I shingled my wash and go. This is a wash and go. And what I'm gonna do is, cause my hair is still wet, I made sure not to use too much gel so that it wasn't like dripping wet, packed with gel, but you know, I still got that definition going. So what I'm gonna do now, because I watched like tons of videos and they said, um it works better on damp hair my hair is not dripping wet so i guess that qualifies as damp right mm. i forgot to tell y'all y'all already know what color i'm using today look around take a wild guess sis. i'm going to be experimenting with the blue hair paint wax i also got purple um i want to i don't know if i want to just splash a little purple in there so it can be kind of like a vibe like i don't know but purple if i do add the purple is gonna be very little like very little but the purple colors here this stuff smells like um men's deodorant it smells like degree and don't ask me how i know it <laughs> ask your daddy i ain't gonna hold you a reason why that i am nervous about this is i just shingled my hair and i really don't want to disturb my curl because i haven't shingled in over a month and I'm, I'm loving the definition right now. You know, it's a place and time. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the application process. Another reason why I was kind of nervous about this is because if I don't like this, I got to go to work after this. <laughs> like somebody go see this, period. So anyways, here we go. my hair is blue now with the purple like i said if i was going to splash it in now would be the time i would probably just take a little bit and like maybe put it on like a curl or two you know what i mean splash it in on the ends or towards the ends to add a little contrast <laughs> Okay, so I finished with the application process. So now I'm about to see, can I blow dry on cool for a little bit? But I realized I did not show y'all what products I already have on my hair because there's been a little, you know, controversy about like, oh, don't use a cream leave-in. Oh, use a um, spray leave-in. This is what I use. So 
here we go i use the camille rose a curl love leave-in conditioner i also use in some areas the camille rose almond jai twisting butter in a couple areas and it's topped with eco argan oil so those are the products that i have in my hair before i added the hair paint wax in the hair paint wax brand i don't know how to say it so i'm gonna let y'all see it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair on cool let the rest air dry but what i can say about this hair paint wax i feel like it did help clump my curls i feel like i was going to disturb my curl at first but when i started applying it everything was just like perfect so yeah i did use the whole jar because your girl is heavy handed but with the purple you know it's purple highlights like you gotta really look close i feel like it's, it picks up better in person but i still have a lot of purple left Whistle. <laughs> okay, so my hair is or was completely dry. It's not completely dry right now. And I'm going to get into why it's not. But first, let's hit these facts up. I made a mistake when I blow dry my hair. Even though I was using the cool setting, my blow dryer in particular, it doesn't really come out as cool. It's just like room temp air for some reason. And it's because it's a hair wax when you put that heat up to it it warms the wax up you know what i'm saying it's not even heat but just even being room temp it's really not drying my hair it's just warming up the wax and the wax can move around even more so i prefer to air dry and that went good for me i wore a blue shirt just in case it transferred it like it won't be like so evident people are like what is that on your shirt because hey i like i said i did my hair and i was out what i can say is like when i was in the car i was so worried about like my seat being blue so i had to lay out something like on my headrest and my seat belt like the corners of it turned a little blue so this stuff was transferring but my hair was still like in a quote-unquote damp state i don't know if y'all can tell but i feel like yesterday my hair was just like so vibrant um the blue was just like bam in your face like i kind of felt like one of those little troll dolls like not you know the dolls with like the hair standing straight up not the style but just like the loudness of it like i can see the blue the green the red hair just standing like straight up and that's kind of how i felt this coming from somebody who's never even dyed their hair before i've never had any other color in my hair but my natural color so i was a little bit it took me a couple hours to get used to it but guess what i woke up this morning feeling like a bad bitch <laughs> i am quite disappointed that i added that purple and it was so cute when i was putting it in you know i was flashing a little purple in there you can kind of see it too when it was drying but after a while no purple sis i know the camera if i look it kind of looks like it's two shades of blue like a little hue to it but you really can't see the purple um i know the camera is not gonna be able to pick it up it just kind of looks a little i don't know it was a cute look though it wasn't a solid blue but it's kind of like a ugh, a little splash in there but i don't know i got some more gloves and i'm thinking about just literally doing a couple curls i don't know if that would mess up the look <sighs> I'm gonna decide by the time this video ends. So let me show y'all how I slept. Um, because my hair was pretty much dry when I went to bed, but my roots, y'all already know it takes the roots a little longer to dry. So I double bunded it. My hair is, is it a word? I double bunded it. it. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I got these huge, like, um, 
extra large size bunnets. I got it kind of tied up on the top, but what I do is I don't pineapple. I don't do none of that. I hate the dents that it leaves in my hair. But anyways, I just kind of gather my hair and I tuck it into the bonnets. Oh, that girl did that swift. And usually this little part right here is on the top. Let me twist it. So then I have like, it's not because it's huge and it's kind of loose around like the band is kind of loose. So I have to tie it up like that. But I just did this, bam. And then I took my second bonnet, you know, just for added protection. Hold on, I put it on backwards. <laughs> Took my second bonnet and I went to bed. So this is kind of how I slept and it did not transfer to my pillow, double protection. And when I took all of this off in the morning, I usually just shake and fluff it a little bit. But when I took it off, I did notice a little bit um, of color transfer into my black bonnet. Of course, it didn't make its way. You know, I'm just, I just like to be safe because nobody likes a messy cleanup. So for my fit girls, let me just break this down to you. And this is real sad news because I did do a 30 minute HIIT workout. And y'all already know HIIT workout is high intensity training. Y'all already know it's sweating hopping breathing moving struggling to breathe like heart rate on 10 the whole time or almost the whole time so i did do a hit workout and i did put this black band around my hair and i you know tied it up or whatever and by the time i got done with my workout it did kind of transfer onto the band when i sweat when i work out um my scalp gets a little moist but it doesn't just like drench so, you know, just to let y'all know where I'm at, like I said, it did transfer a little bit to the band. And you know who you working out and you, your hands like this and you breathe and you kind of stretch your head. Like I did have blue all the way under my fingernails. So it transfers, like I said, when you sweat, your roots and I, that area, it re-wets. So when it re-wets, it's gonna be easy for the color to transfer. Um, also on the little mat that I'm on, I seen a little bit of you know transfer, but it wasn't like big blotches or spots, but I can kind of see a little blue glitz. So it's highly transferable if you ask me. And I did not like the way I worked. I was kind of like, you know, trying to be cute and stuff when, baby, we get down to business. I was so disappointed in how this color performed during my workout. Like, and we can't go to Bella No Chase. Where can we go? I really like the look, especially, you know, when I put my little makeup on and, you know, I become a person because, you know, I be on chill mode, <laughs> you know, when I'm not on camera. But when it looks really cool and put together, I can totally see someone wanting to experiment with like, you know, all these loud colors. And I was thinking about it, like fun colors. You, What if you want like to a music festival or some kind of festival or a hair festival, even though, you know, COVID-19 right now, but I can see you wanting to experiment and wear different colors in your hair. But if you're going to be out there sweating and you're going to be out there in the heat and you know, I can't, I don't know. It's like, a my anxiety is going to be on 10 thinking it's going to transfer to people I hug cause I'm sweating. Like it's just, I don't know. I don't know about this in hot climates. Cause I'm in Texas right now and working out outside in like 90 degree weather in the shade and I was still sweating and it was still transferring. So maybe it would be better in the winter time. Like, I don't know. Or maybe if you're, you don't really, you're not really active because that's what they didn't tell y'all about this hair wax. Like it's real cute. But if you live an active lifestyle, sis, unless you just sit down somewhere, it's going to transfer. So now I'm about to show y'all how my hair pretty much looks each day when it's completely dry until I wash it out. So go ahead and enjoy these pictures. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I already know you're going to like it here. So yeah, enjoy the pictures and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so I didn't actually take a picture every day, but this is day one. The color is very vibrant and I wanted to show you guys that even with my hair being dry, the residue is still rubbing off on my arms and neck area. It's just there. So white wouldn't be a good move. This is a view from the back, curls popping or whatever. And the next picture is um, like four days later. Um, the ends are starting to kind of turn back black, but where is it going? 
is transferring, sis. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I'll see you guys in the next video.